Yeah, and uh, now let's uh, see where we're at. So, uh, go to the render setup and change it to single and uh, then hit render. And to see anything, we're going to have to press display alpha channel. And uh, this is kind of inverted, so uh, what's uh, white here will be the shadows. Yeah. And uh, now let's uh, create a, a skylight. Skylight here and cast shadows and raise per sample uh, maybe 12. And uh, we're going to go to the background geometry, go down to polygons, and uh, we're going to delete the roof. So now, if we test render this again, this is what the shadows will look like. And uh, I think this looks pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, as I said, everything is inverted, so the shadows are white here. Yeah, I am pleased with the results, so I'll make the final render here too. So make sure that camera 2 is uh, the active viewport and uh, look that it's animating. And uh, go to render product, no, that's, no, uh, range 0 to 50, files, go make a new called shadows, maybe? Open and uh, type shadows, shadow pass. Save this as, as a PNG file and uh, go down here. Make sure the view is camera series 2 and hit render. Then the next step is to uh, composite it in After Effects. See you over there. Okay, now all the renders are finished and uh, we're in After Effects. So, start by importing the two passes and uh, as PNG sequences and uh, right click uh, interpret footage main and make sure uh, pre multiplied matter with color black is selected and uh, assume uh, the frame rate you want. Uh, mine is 25 and then go back to here and make the same changes and then drag and drop the background uh, render into a new composition and here you can see what that looks like not so great and then drag and drop the shadow pass and uh, place it on top now it looks better so uh, we're going to add a curves effect and go down to alpha channel. I think the dark shadows are too dark and the bright shadows are not as dark as they should be so if I do a contrast curve like this maybe I think uh, this looks pretty good and uh, Now uh, maybe add a small uh, vignette with new adjustment layer, a ellipse tool, double click and uh, drop a curves adjustment in here, make it darker, uh, subtract the feather and uh, no, the subtract the mask and the feather. Very subtle, subtle, and uh, but uh, I think if we maybe lower it, I think uh, this looks very cool. Okay, 
Uh, now this uh, tutorial is finished and uh, as I said before, my name is Marcus and uh, I hope you liked it.